Hello? <laughs> Think you have something of mine? <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Before today, Roxanne Boyd Williams and Tom Otten were complete strangers. But they were strangers who shared a unique and life saving bond. Roxanne is now living with one of Tom's kidneys. How's that kidney working for you? Very good. Is he behaving? Because I told him he was the honorary one. I'm just grateful that you, you would do that for somebody. Sure. You know? Sure. That you didn't even know. <laughs> In a perfect world, Tom's kidney would have gone to his wife, Irene, who suffered kidney failure last November and was told she needed a transplant. But neither Tom nor anyone in his large family was a match. People are telling us, you, well, if you have at least five donors, you're gonna, you know, you'll get a match. And it's no, 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 no. And then all of a sudden, we're running out of people. Tom and Irene live with their teenage daughter outside St. Louis, Missouri. Halfway across the country in Washington, D.C., 30-year-old mother of three, Roxanne, faced a similar crisis. Roxanne was in dire need of a second kidney transplant. For her first, in 2005, Roxanne's sister gave up one of hers. This time around, Roxanne's father was ready and willing to do the same. Only this time around, it wasn't a match. My father called me and said it wasn't going to work. Yeah, and it felt like somebody just pulled a chair from under me. We will be doing 15 transplants. Both couples turned to Georgetown University Hospital's Dr. Keith Melanson, who had the answer, a kidney swap, where donors like Tom give up their kidneys to complete strangers in an effort to find the best match for their own loved one. We are trying to find our patients, our recipients, a better partner than, than they brought to the dance. We're trying to match them up like piecing a puzzle together. A very complicated puzzle. Dr. Melanson initially matched 16 donors with 16 recipients they had never met. After six days of marathon surgeries, one recipient was forced to pull out, causing a domino effect that unraveled part of the exchange. In the end, the swap lost three pairs, but for the 13 remaining, it was a puzzle solved. As it turned out, Tom's kidney was an almost perfect match for Roxanne. Roxanne's father's kidney went to a 58-year-old mother of four with two grandkids and a third on the way. As for Irene, Dr. Melanson found her needle in the haystack, too. It really is almost a religious experience when you start doing this because it's miraculous. It really is. For all involved, miraculous seems to be the only way to describe it. It's just miraculous. The way this whole thing has come together, everything, you know, and can you... And in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, you know, how providential is that, you know? Thank you. Kelly Daschle, The Associated Press.